Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be episode 16 for Building Thede. Last week there was no video because I was on vacation, so most of the progress I got done before I left, and then I did a little bit when I got back, but most of that time was then put into editing and filming and stuff for this video. But we do have some progress for this week as well as some on Daniel's side of the mock, so it's definitely going to be another interesting watch. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button and let's get right into it. Alright, so starting off we have an overview of the entire kind of completed-ish side of the mock. One half of the mock pretty much is done except for the building, which is going to be all the way over in this corner over here. But I'll just zoom out and give you guys kind of a look at this entire side of the mock. Really, really happy with it. I think it's definitely the kind of feel that I wanted to capture. And once I kind of have minifigures running throughout you know, the alleyways and up the street and all that kind of stuff. It will definitely feel more like Thede. But as for the building and the architecture, everything is basically the way that I wanted it to be. So I'm really happy with that. So I'll go ahead and pull the camera off the tripod and kind of dig a little deeper. All right, so with the camera off the tripod, first thing is the road. I finally sat down and finished it. I'm super happy that I did that. It was something that I've been putting off for a while, but I'm really happy that I finally sat down and actually did it and most of it is sitting underneath this aat so i'll go ahead and pull that off that is the road i went ahead and added in some of those four by four tiles that i got in from lug bulk and it's not a huge difference but it definitely makes it look a lot better now when you look down your eyes are kind of drawn to the bigger sections of the road tiles which kind of make the snot sections that i incorporated look a little bit better and more like they belong so that really really helped out you can kind of see from this perspective just all of those elevated tiles really really look nice so definitely happy with the road it's nice and just kind of simple doesn't really draw your eyes too much and i think that's good because the focal point is going to be where the color is on the minifigures and buildings and greenery and everything like that so and then this over here I went ahead and added in another one of these light strands just in case I wanted to have an explosion. The AAT is going to be somewhere around here and the flash beater is going to be off in this kind of corner of the mock. So basically when the flash beater comes out of the archway that's going to be over here, it's going to shoot towards the AAT and the building is behind it. So maybe it missed a shot or it's just figuring out its aim or something like that. So. If that doesn't end up working or I don't like the way that it looks, I'll just tuck that wire underneath. But I wanted to have that ability in case I wanted to do something with it. And like I said, if not, then it's not going to be any big fix or anything like that. So only other thing is I did go ahead and finish up this, kind of carrying it over from the other side. This is obviously the rock. Just added in a leaf piece and another grass stem. So that kind of finishes that spilling over into the rest of the road so now this side is basically completely done looks like I forgot to add in a panel there so I'll do that but that side is all done there and then we got the greenery that we've already covered obviously and then moving on to this building I went ahead and made the roof and I'm pretty happy with it but it's not 100% there what I think I want to do is make it a little bit bigger as you can see over here this is a one by two and this is a one by five area right here so i think i want to make this a one by four kind of like how this is and then maybe make this a one by six or even a one by eight if it comes to it just make that a little bigger have it kind of fill out more of this whole section but this was such a weird thing to come up with i can go ahead and try and pull this off so basically a bunch of weird stuff going on to make the base is all just some slopes and all obviously snot and that is the inside of the dome it's just a bunch of snot bricks connected together and built up sides all connected onto those snot bricks so that's basically how you do it if you're curious just start with kind of the base size on the top this is i think it's an 8 by 10 or 12 and then you just kind of make a dome shape and then you build some sides and try and make it look as round as possible, which I think I did a pretty good job. When it comes to the corners, you get kind of lost, but I did as good of a job as I really could. 
and then to connect it on was just some brackets and stuff. So then I can go ahead and just put this back on here, which I think just goes like that. And that is the roof. And as you can kind of see, I might just want to bring that out because it looks a little weird, but this roof hasn't changed or anything on this building. So everything now on this side of the mock is done except for that building there. And I already kind of have an idea, which is going to be basically make the same thing here. And then I might add in that explosion and see if I can make that look good. And if not, then I'll just kind of scrap that idea. But basically this is the total mock so far. So all I have to do now is just the strip of water way back there. So I still have to buy all the tiles for that and then doing the other half of the mock, which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but I think I should be all right. I kind of know what I want to do. I think I want to have like a round building over on this side, maybe like a clock tower kind of thing. And then obviously the arch is going to go in the middle where the flash speeder is going to kind of come through and then another building. I'm not sure if I want it to be round or square. So I'll get there when I get there, but I think I have kind of the whole plan and idea set for the mock. I just have to actually sit down and build it. And then the only other thing that I want to show is just the lights. I went ahead and made this panel for the light box. So I can go ahead and flip that on there. And obviously all of the lights light up. Still haven't gone ahead and added in the lights to that building, but the wiring is there. I just have to build the scaffolding or whatever you want to call it. But this light is still going in that building. So everything is good with the lights. Went ahead and just added in that panel for that access there. So that is everything so far on this side of the mock. Jumping over to Daniel's side, here we can see the building that he's made. Over all the way on the left, you can kind of see the completed or mostly completed version of the round building that he's been working on for a while. And I had that in a couple videos ago. This rectangular building though is new and it looks fantastic. Used a lot of large arch pieces at the bottom and then outlined them with other large arch pieces and light bluish gray to create a really, really cool look. And then above that, there's a nice trim section with a bunch of light bluish gray quarter circle tiles arranged in a pattern that looks really, really nice. And then on the side of the building, there's some vines. And then on the front is a bunch of arch windows, which look really, really nice. And then the roof is similar to the design that I used on my orange building, except he has light bluish gray trim going around and I had tan on mine. But this building looks so cool. And then you can see from this angle, he actually used the same door design that I used in my kind of round building, which is cool. And it's also nice because it will kind of tie our two halves of the mock together which is really, really nice. Here you can kind of see that again. And then on the very top, he added in this little compartment where you can kind of access the lights or the battery box for the lights in the roof, which is cool. Nice integration of that. And then here you can kind of see the lights in this building and it just looks fantastic. I think this looks really, really cool. And I think the lights that he has are the yellow lights or just the warm white instead of the cold white. Cold white are the ones that I have, which basically means they are a blue color temperature instead of a warm yellow color temperature. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do if he's gonna add in the kind of orange that I'm doing in mine, or if we're just gonna leave it and have his look a little bit different than mine. But either way, this building looks really, really nice. And then here's kind of another view of the lights and the kind of greenery that's growing up next to those windows. And it just really, really looks nice. I think that this is probably one of the best buildings that I've seen built in Lego, definitely for Theed. And this thing just really turned out nice. So I'm super excited to see his mock put next to mine. And this also kind of inspires me to make mine look a little bit more interesting. So. This is basically what he's got done in the past couple of weeks, and I'm really, really happy to see this thing kind of coming together because this is such a cool design, and I think it's going to look great in the mock. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode 16 of Building Feed. Like I said, I got some progress done, not as much as I would have liked, but obviously I wasn't here, so I couldn't build and all of that kind of stuff. But now that I'm back, I think I'm here until Brick Fair, which is August 1st, is kind of the start date. 
that's like my finish date i want to have everything on the mock done before then because normally what happens is i'll have most of it done and then i have to finish it at brick fair which is not what i want to do i want to have everything done before i put it in my car and if there is anything left i want it to be the water because that's just mindless placing of tiles so that is my plan. I want to have this mock done by August 1st. So I'm going to have to start picking up the pace and get more progress done each week. So hopefully I have enough time to get everything done that I want and then put on some finishing touches and make the mock look exactly the way I want. With that being said, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like and consider subscribing if you guys are interested in seeing the finished product of Theed. And if you guys are interested in the lights that I'm using in this mock, they are like my bricks. And I have a $10 off coupon for your first purchase that you can get by clicking the link at the top right corner of the screen. But that is everything that I had for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.